Hey guys, it's Dragon Z here. Today, I'll be teaching you how you can add motion blur to any Gorilla Tag video. And it's super simple. You don't need to pay $300 for Adobe Premiere Pro. There's just one simple application that you need, and it's free to download. And I'll leave the link in the description for it. Anyway, let's get straight into this. Alright, I'm telling you, this is super easy. Instead of paying $29.99, a month, which is, I did the calculations, it's this much for a year. Woo! That's crazy. Yet you can do it for free. Anyway, all you need is an application called Blur. That, that's it. And then you just need some footage. Seriously, that's it. So I'll leave the link here. I want to download the installer. And, you know, it will download. Alright, once it's finished downloading, you want to go to File Explorer, Downloads wherever your downloading location is and you just want to double click it and you know you just want to click next to next and then install there we go look at this it's completed and now it's completed so we, I'm just going to click this so it launches and look at that that's the app I know this looks a bit weird and you're probably wondering what do I do well all you need to do is just drag that video and it adds motion blur to it. Seriously, that's all you need to do. It's super simple. So, I'm just gonna go into my hard drive. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into here and I'm just gonna put in a short video. Here we go, so we have a 14 second video and we're just gonna paste it in here, just drag it like that. Now, if this happens, you just press Y and you might get a preview and it just shows like a cool preview of what is happening and look at that you can already see the motion blur coming into play which is crazy especially because it's free now this is just some nerdy information you know it even upscales the frames per second it's like really awesome so I'm gonna just skip until it's done Get rid of the preview and it will say finish render queue waiting for input. Now all you want to do is just close it and you want to go to that location. And as you as you can see, it has the same file name, but it's got blur at the end of it. Okay, so now we're gonna do a comparison on what it looks like without motion blur and what it looks like with motion blur. 